So I have Peter Heinrich Nielsen here. Um, he played today against Tommy Nybeck from Werder Bremen. It was a fascinating game because uh, Peter played extremely fast. The first 20, 30 moves, I suppose uh, everything was analyzed. Just um, give me a command uh, on this game. Well, you're you're right. Actually, I think the first 25 moves was exactly the same as uh, in Schmilita against Lakno from Vigense. And well, uh, I've. I've been together with Victoria for, for, for almost five years now, so of course I knew the details there. But uh, Tommy played an, a new move and uh, the point was I knew I had to play g5 in that position, but I couldn't figure out why rook c8 was not winning. In which, in which move? Oh, sorry. Uh, that will be around move 29, I think. I think he goes bishop e8, stopping rook f7 mating. Yes. And I was sure it was g5 was the only right move. But somehow over the board I couldn't see a response to rook c8, and I spent a lot of time working that out. And uh, Well, I found a response, but actually not a good one. But uh, g5 is the right move, but I, I blundered a bit later. Then it, well, then it is strange. It's the first time probably I spent like 120, <laughs> uh, no, sorry, uh, one hour and 20 minutes on one move. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, well, it was an interesting experience. I'm happy it at least ended in a draw. Yeah, okay. So G5 is winning, probably? No, D5 no. is drawing. Well, I mean, this D5. is. G5. G5, uh, yeah. Well, it's typical modern prep. I mean, it's a very long, complicated line, and there's a lot of pitfalls, but if Black plays it correctly, then. Um, then it's a draw. Well, actually, also in a later rapid game, Lakno showed the right uh, solution against uh, Victoria. So it is the drawish line, but I thought, okay, Nubek would have no chance of having prepared against me, so he'll be very surprised. Unfortunately, there was the drawback that I couldn't remember it either. Yeah. So. And your opponent, um, did you talk to him afterwards? Well, just he briefly. He, he, he had, well, a couple of comments, but uh, I think we were both busy sort of seeing how the match uh, went because I think the last hour we've both been too focused to, to notice how the other games was going, and it's actually a pretty exciting match at the moment. Yeah, and um, did you know the line, by the way? Sorry? Did you know the line, by the, by the way? What do you, you mean your opponent, because he, he was no, thinking no, no. a lot he, of... He was thinking a lot. No, I was, of course, very optimistic. I understood that uh, the line is a forced draw, but I thought there were so many pitfalls. So basically, I thought it was a matter of uh, either me yeah. winning by one of my tricks or yeah. it becoming a forced draw. That I actually suddenly would be down to no time and losing. Um, didn't cross my mind before it happened. So your opponent played very well at the end because well, he didn't I mean, know the line... he actually found a solution. And then, <laughs> yeah. uh, of course, good preparation would be that I at least know how uh, I make the draw. But... Uh, well, okay. I managed to make the draw anyhow, but uh, sort of from a preparation-wise, it wasn't brilliant exactly. Okay, Peter. Thank you very much for your comments.